All right, welcome back. This begins our journey, the Array of Games program, the version 0.0.0. So this will take care of our startup. So we'll begin with our main.c. We'll have a startup.c and a startup.h, and also a play and also a shutdown, the .h and the .c for each one of those. So let's get started. So here I am on replit.com, and I'll go ahead and create a new REPL. This is going to be C as our language, and I'll do C programming skills using REPLIT, and this one will be the Array of Games Pro. Alright, so go ahead and create that. And of course we have our main, our hello world, like we always do. I, I typically just click on run just to let it build. Kind of an easy way to get started. Now, we said we're going to have a startup, a play, and a shutdown. So what I'm going to do right away is come over here to add files. And I'm going to have a startup.h. And I'm going to go ahead and add a startup.c. Remember the dot H is our, our interface, dot C is the implementation. I'm going to go ahead and add a play, dot H, and we'll add a play, dot C. I'm going to go ahead and add a shutdown, dot H, and a shutdown, dot C. Now, notice already Right, well, this is a simple program we're working on, and already look how many files we have. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, by putting code in separate files, you have very modular code. Right? It, it could be, uh, you could see how you could assign one software developer to focus on play, one software developer to focus on shutdown, another to focus on startup. Right, so this allows, you can imagine on a big project, different developers may be working on different files. Of course, let's, we want to focus on the startup first. So this will be our startup.h, and I've said this repeatedly, but I'm going to do it once again. This is the interface. I keep using that word because an interface tells you as a software developer how to use the particular function. It doesn't say how it's implemented. That's in the .c file. The .h file just says how it's implemented or what the interface is. Now we know by now we always do an if not defined. And the convention I use is underscore underscore startup underscore h underscore underscore. That's what I'll use for this one. Just and this is just a convention. You can name it whatever you like. Uh, but this is what I'll use. And I typically copy that. And then say if it's not defined, then define it. And then we'll do an end if. We've said in earlier videos, just make sure it's only included one time. Now, what I'm going to do, since I've got that for the, the startup, uh, I, th I think about this, say, well, all I really need is go have a void. And uh, since this is uh, startup, I'll just say startup. And for right now, I think that's all I need. Right? We may change it, but I think that'll do. I'll copy all this into my buffer. And then I'll say, well, I'm going to do the same thing for shutdown. I'll paste what I just did, except instead of startup, it'll be shutdown. Of course, this right here, instead of saying startup, so it'll say shutdown. I'll go and edit this. And I'll just copy into my buffer and paste into here. Of course, this will be called shutdown. So shutdown. Again, we're focused on our interface. Typically, the architect of the project may specify the interfaces and then another developer may implement it. So we've got the startup, we've got the shutdown, let's go to the play. Same type thing, we'll just, oops, I'll go over to my 
Let me go back to my startup. Copy all this into my buffer. Go over to the play. Paste the play here. Call this play. Instead of shut down, underscore, underscore, play, underscore, H, underscore, underscore. Copy. I realize I'm going through this fast, but remember, you can actually run the video slower, and you can also pause it. And that's going to be our interface. All right, that's, this is our framework, right? We're building something, and we see we've got us a framework here. Now, let's go to the startup.h again. I will grab the startup.h again. Go to my startup.c, and I'm going to paste the startup.h, but change this to a .c. Instead of interface, call this implementation. I just want to stress to you, this is where you decide what's to implement. And that means you're going to, the very first thing is do and include from your project of the startup.h. Right, you're going to include that. So you don't need this now, because you're including that. We know in pretty much everything we've done, we also include standard io.h. Remember, the less than and greater than means it's coming from the system, so a system header file. The, the double quotes means it's a local header file in your project. And then for right now, let's just do this, and let's do this trick we've learned by doing printf percent s backslash n, and the trick is underscore underscore function. And we know the compiler will take the name of whatever this function is and put it right there. So that means when we call startup, we'll at least see the name of the function. Now, since we're just putting the framework together, I'll go ahead and copy this into my buffer. Go to my shutdown.c, paste this. Of course, instead of startup, we have shutdown. So shutdown. And we know this is going to be actually shutdown. And we know this will be shut down. But using our trick, since the compiler puts in that name, we don't have to change it. So that's good for our shutdown. And might as well do play as well. I'll paste this. This will be the play. Notice you use a lot of copy and paste when you're writing code. A lot of copy and paste. So here we have play.h. And this will be play. Cool. So we got all those implemented. In fact, you could actually right now click on run just to make sure you don't have any typos. You should not get any typos. Now let's say I left off a semicolon. When I click on run, it's going to find it. And notice it tells you which file. So play.c, line number 8. So you just go to line number 8. Of course, it's saying it expected the semicolon, so we can put the semicolon there. Run. So we've got it all clear. But now let's go to our main.c, and here we'll include, we'll include our, well, we want to include the startup.h. We want to include the play.h, and we want to include the shutdown.h. A lot of programs begin like this. Tons of programs. You know, they have a startup. In some type of main, whatever they do. In our case, we're going to be playing some games, and then they shut down. But here, instead of having the printf hello world, we'll just say, how about startup? How about play? And then how about shut down? And we click on run, and there we go. So we've kind of got our our first framework together here for this this particular one and you can say well for the startup why don't we go ahead and at least display some information there I'll, I'll comment this out just in case you know you want to remember we put that there but instead I'll say printf we'll give our program title so let's say array of games program 
and we'll say printf oh let's say version and here we will put the the version that we're working with and we'll say you know what let's do a pound define and say version is going to be since this is our implementation we'll say version is uh, right now 0, 0.0.0, .0. So do a printf of a percent s, well, let's say version, plus, what am I doing here? Uh, so what the compiler will do, the compiler sees this as a string, and it sees this as a string. So it will actually concatenate both of these together at compile time. So I'll go ahead and also put a backslash in. This is a trick. I find a lot of developers don't know you can do this. Notice I'm literally this is a string, this is a string, and this is a string. And the compiler, as it's compiling your code, concatenates all those together as a single string. And then of course put your name here. Code by take pride in what you're doing. So your name here. Be very proud in what you're doing. Okay, and typically you can put a copyright too, so we'll do that. We'll say copyright C 2021 and your name here. You know, it'd be either your name or your company's name. All right, and now of course when we click run, we've got us some startup. I see that I left off my backslash in here. I'll put that in and click on run. We've got array of program, array of games program, uh, version. So good. All right, so this is your first version 0.0.0. .0. As always, make sure your code is matching this before you move on. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.